All right, everybody, put your hands together, get strapped in, get buckled in for CJ doing Mario Kart Double Dash. So take it away, my friend. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I am CJ. It's all good. You've seen, you've heard a lot of me, and you're going to hear a lot more of me before the night is over. Uh, and I am uh, here to tell you that uh, we're going to have a lot of fun playing um, all cup tours. We're going to play through every cup uh, all the stages. It's going to be a little random, but I'm going to do my best to be your shepherd through these dark times. You wanted to see it. You voted on which characters I would pick, and to my chagrin, uh, you pick Diddy Kong and Baby Mario. So, the barrel train was non-negotiable. I did not put the card up for auction. Put the Tims on. Put the Tims to the pedal. The Tims are on. They are going to the pedal. But I'm wearing shorts now, so I'm not trying to show my legs on stream, okay? So time is going to start when I hit OK on the cup tour. And we're going to go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. With me here, I have Quo as my co-commentator. How's it going, buddy? Hello. I am ready for some fun. I am ready to be trolled mercilessly by the hands of Double Dash. So, Double Dash is a little bit of a unique character when it comes to the Mario Kart games. The main tech, as you've seen with uh, other Mario Kart games that have been featured in this marathon, is that we're going to be doing something called a Mini Turbo. By um, holding the R button and then uh, use, moving the left stick back to the center and to the edge, like this, we can get a blue boost, and if we do that when we release, we'll get a speed boost. This is how you get the, uh, this is how you go the fastest that you can go. There is some extra tech. I got a mushroom and then got hit by a lightning bolt. And the other thing that's important to know about this game is that the CPUs are, uh, armed to the teeth with items. And they know how to use them. Uh, shout out to anyone that ever saw the movie Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Uh, this is that in video game form. So we're going to do our best. The reason that Diddy Kong is the worst character that y'all could have picked is because Diddy Kong's uh, main super item, which you can get in first place, is a big banana, which just makes a big obstacle uh, for the track. Now, I don't have to throw it, but where would the fun in that be if I didn't? You know? And the best part about the banana, blue shell, a blue shell is a blue item. You've been hit by them if you've played Mario Kart, or you've thrown them if you're bad at Mario Kart. Um, you are get it. It's a toward the last place item that will automatically hit first place. So that is the first track, Luigi Circuit. Big banana count to <laughs> yes. So <laughs> all right, on to the second track. So one. Uh, unique thing about uh, all cup tours is that other than the first and last cup, which is Luigi Circuit and Rainbow Road, everything else is random. So I don't know what's happening next. CJ doesn't know what's happening next. Mushroom Bridge is allegedly happening next. But, uh, you know, for the next uh, 13 courses, um, CJ will just have to adapt and hope he remembers his lines for everything. Yeah, Mushroom Bridge is a little one that's a little weird. The traffic is all going with you. Um,. Which is nice, there are some Mario Kart tracks where that's not the case. And they can get in the way. Um, the one thing I like to point out to people is that the ground looks flat. The ground is never flat. This looks like pavement. This is bumpy and rickety. This is like, this looks like cement and asphalt. It's an old dirt road. Horse trodden cobblestone, and it's awful. So, uh, I am holding on to my big banana. <sighs> the other problem with the big banana is yeah, when. Don't take that. <laughs> when the big banana. <laughs> the other problem with the big banana. <clears throat> the other problem with the big banana is that when it explodes, it, abo it, ab it ab becomes a <laughs> bunch of little bananas. Listen, you're making it weird now. You're making it weird. <laughs> but can, you, can you tell us how the big banana explodes? <laughs> it, you know, bananas are rich in potassium. Huh. Um, fun fact about Mushroom Bridge, it's actually this 
very, very big skip. Um, if you actually get on top of the like sides of the bridge, you can drive and skip like half the track. It's not RT viable at all. Uh, no one goes for an actual run. -ups. But time trials do. And it's pretty neat. There's that was a couple a, of really big skip. That yeah. was a gold split. <laughs> Let's go. That Diddy Kong is your lucky, um, lucky uh, don't. guy. Don't. Why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> don't do that. Or maybe that. it's just the big banana that's lucky. <laughs> Interior crocodile alligator. Alright, dry dry desert. Th this map is awful. Quo, tell them why it's awful. Uh, there's a number of reasons. First of all, sand sort of sucks. Second of all, all the obstacles in this game sort of sucks. They remade it in Mario Kart 8, and I can't decide if they made it better or worse. I think I just think that it's worse because they decided to bring it back, but in this game it's probably just like objectively worse. Um, there's a strike here that some people go for, and it's actually to throw at the start to get good items, and you can throw, drive across the train. But first of all, that's random, and second of all, um, the actual lines you have to take are uh, sort of not easy to figure out, because uh, they obviously didn't you know, intend for you to go off roads. They didn't make any special note of trying to, you know, this is the way you're going. Uh, that's another big banana for the fans. CJ just tossing that around. <laughs> um, other than that, uh, yeah, there's, uh, as mentioned, obstacles, there's the pokies, there's the tornadoes, everything sort of sucks. Um, it's not as bad as the, I think it was the Wii version that had, like, the giant sun that would just drop fireballs everywhere. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Uh, there's the sand pit in the middle, and, uh, in this game it's pretty unforgiving. If you end up in there and you don't have a mushroom or anything, you need to, like, mini turbo as fast as your little hands let you. So, you know. I had a chance to do something there called a blue shell dodge. I'm going to really try to do one in this uh, speedrun. Um, basically, there is an oversight with the way that blue shells kind of track and lock onto you. Almost did it there too. All right, and lightning bolt for good measure. So, uh, what happens is that the blue shell kind of decides who the target is as it's coming to you. So if you, if there's a blue shell thrown when you're in second and then you get into first, depending on when it was thrown, all right, that's the third blue shell, all right, on one lap, and now I am backwards. That is incredibly unlucky. Um, I think you hit the banana, and while you're spinning, the blue shell hit you. So then it's like, oh, you're facing backwards? Cause you're facing I think the tracking got messed up there, yes. This was looking like it could have been a gold split, by the way. I just want to let everyone at home know that, what could have been. Uh, instead, I am now 25 seconds behind PP. You know, these things happen in Double Dash. I don't think we explicitly mentioned, but... Uh... Oh, sorry, let me just finish up the blue shell dodge. Oh, yes. So, when the blue shell kind of picks its target, what it'll do is it'll kind of zoom around the track getting to you, and then the moment before it comes to do you, it does this thing where it kind of locks in, and then it goes straight. So if you're able to mini turbo out of the way at the last second, once it's kind of already in its motion where it's gonna go straight, um, it cannot adjust its trajectory anymore and you will go out of the way of the blue shell and the blue shell, cause it no longer has targeting on you, will um, hit the wall or go off into space or whatever. Um, I've only had it one time where I dodged it and then it came back and hit me anyway. So it's a pretty consistent uh, piece of speed tech that we use here. Uh, and you were going to say something that we didn't mention yet? Um, yeah, just to, to, to build up what CJ said. When he says consistent, um, it is consistent. You can do it, but not everywhere because you do need to do a mini turbo while you dodge it. So there are some places you just won't ever be able to do that. You also have to get, have the heads up that it's about to happen. And sometimes they will not tell you you're about to be hit by a blue shell. Uh, this is a bad place to be lightninged. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> oh, that is a bad place. Uh, one thing about this game, though, uh, and this one in particular, um, it is rough on the items. It's one of the better Mario Kart games in terms of actual tech, but for, like, full game runs, for, like, all tough runs, it's, it's, uh, it's not fun. It's rough around the edges. It is... It is brutal. Most people would say it's not marathon safe. I mean, it's marathon safe in the way that, like, you're not gonna not finish, but it's not marathon safe in the way that, like, bad things can happen and you will- you're not guaranteed to have a good time. 
If there's one guarantee in this game, though, it's that I'm guaranteed to have a good time. I tried doing one for the fans there, and it didn't work. Ooh, that was pretty close. Yeah, I didn't have the angle. So one thing to note, I haven't seen a big banana in a while, and I'm sort of upset about this. CJ is having the best time. Uh, I'll try and show off the tech for dodging it the next time that we get thrown a red shell at. You can do the same basic tech to dodge a red shells. The only difference between the red shell dodge and the blue shell dodge is that the red shells in this game have really bad tracking to where you can just like drive out of the way if you want. To kind of emphasize how much faster we're going than every other character on the track, you can look at the minimap and see that like no one's close. <laughs> yeah, well, Luigi's entering the giant loop to loop, but uh, yeah. Other than that, we are going at a consistent 57 to 70 miles an hour in our little bell chain. That's right, we have not had a big banana in a while. Listen, if y'all gonna make the banana thing weird, I'm gonna pause and change characters. There we go. What? The people donated for this. The people will be outraged. The, <laughs> are you, is this one of those situations where you're the people? I am the people. Huh? Look at me. Look at me. Um, Not even the people now. <laughs> there's actually two separate shortcuts in this map. One is random and the other is like very difficult. I think like maybe the top five or top ten runners do it. But, uh, yeah, also a broken track. Pretty yeah. Fun. Ah, this one's fun. And some good old driving. Yeah, nothing to see here. Lots of bananas. Big banana. Little banana so far, you know? <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, there's actually some piranha plants later in this track, uh, and those piranha plants can aggro you. Uh, but in time trials, they actually don't. They they won't attack you. So yeah, it's lovely. Most people do play time trials version of this, and if you stream yeah. this on Twitch, people will not hesitate to tell you, "Oh, you know, if you don't like this game, you should play time trials." Oh yeah. <laughs> they come out and they're like, "Yeah, you should uh, you should stop what you're doing and do time trials." It's like I'm having fun with doing what I'm doing. No, but really, you should only do time trials. Oh okay. Like, I'm doing what you do. I am having fun doing what I'm doing. I'm raising money for the chillins. Like liquid chillin? Yeah. What? Nice. What chillin? The Pete Banana fandom voted for this. <laughs> Y'all didn't know about the bananas. I knew about the bananas. You you were the only one that knew about the bananas. If CJ Damn, wasn't go. having fun, yes. You would all know. What about that Goomba? Uh, he just exploded. Fun fact, uh, if the Goombas uh, get demolished by anything, which can include Thunder by the way, that also hits the Goombas, uh, they'll drop a mushroom on the track, which can be used uh, for going fast. That place is usually unfortunate that they drop there, because the other things that are around there are piranha plants, and the track is also bumpy, and there's this grass here, and we have another big banana. I got hit by the piranha plant. I'm gonna get passed by Wario. No, he got hit by my big banana. <laughs> All right, we are currently going at a rate of 0.75 bleed bananas per minute. So, you know, not too bad. Baby Park. Baby Park. Oh. Do, 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 um, Baby Park is pretty cool because uh, the, the mini turbo tech, if you can do it well, um, so CJ does the snaking method, which is basically just going left and right, sort of, he's doing S's while also getting his mini turbos. Uh, and then there's also A tech, which is like sort of mini turbo always the same way, and I don't understand how that works. But it's actually pretty uh, pretty technical in this track, despite the track looking, uh, looking easy. Um, by, if I'm going to personally insert a fun fact, uh, I have time trials set for this game, and my worst track is Baby Park. So, uh, if, if you want sort of a metric on 
the fact that it's actually difficult. And that's not because I'm bad at this game, it's because Baby Park is still pretty technical. Baby Park um, is a lot more technical than people give it credit for, which is why it takes so many people's souls. Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, also, uh, on Mario Kart 8, I actually like this version better because there is a roller coaster that passes um, sort of before the finish line. That's not, oh, that's not the game. Sort of before the finish line, and that can actually hit you, which is sort of fun. Um, sometimes, anyways, depending on where you are in the course. Uh, we're we waiting for our next big banana to show up. You mind if I read donation? Go ahead. We have a $40 donation from Mama CJ saying, raising money for the shillings. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Don't leave my mom <laughs> hanging, y'all, okay? Y'all are going to be in this chat talking about the bananas. Yeah, she, she, she donated $4 per big banana. No. Yeah, $40. Them fighting words, Quosif. <laughs> thank you, Mama CJ. Much appreciated. Big, big thank you. The children appreciate it too. Oh, I thought we were doing this with bananas. Uh, I mean, that's like my secret agenda, but the money is going to the kids. Mm. I'm gonna send I mean, you guys like bananas. It, it's going to, to St. Jude, which will eventually help the kids. But uh, the kids aren't getting any money out of this, unfortunately. The kids are alright. <laughs> They're actually not. They have very serious diseases, but uh, the song is good. The kids aren't all right. <laughs> that's a that's an outcast song. <laughs> um, DK Mountain. So here's Diddy Kong's personal level, I guess technically. Uh, oh, nice. Um, and there's actually you saw him do it. Last Ooh! Time. You'll see that in a second. Uh, what am I seeing? In Ooh. So because I went oh. through that little tunnel there, I could not be affected by the uh, the lightning bolt. She's sort of blessed. There's no tech to that. That is completely random if it happens, but it's uh, pretty blessed. Um, so yeah, coming up uh, a little soon anyways, uh, CJ is actually going to go over a gap. There are fast ways to set it up, but it's very difficult. Um, but even doing it by like just slowing down a bit is still significantly faster than actually driving around the track. So that is a neat little time save. Yeah. And that is another deep banana. It's like four seconds or something. Yeah. Also, nothing except a blue shell can follow you through that little hole. So like a red shell, if there's someone throws like a shell at you, um, it cannot follow through the cannon. Not even a big banana I'm not getting any warning that I'm about to get hit with the damn blue shell. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one was a bit rough. Yeah, so yeah. I dodged a red shell there, finally. Okay, what is going on with that? I don't want any part of it. Oh, that is, that is a big shell. Y'all nope. <laughs> didn't even know. Y'all could have had big shell and, <laughs> and big banana. Yeah, I feel like we won't see as many big shells though. No, that's pretty rare. Does it have it stationary? Had, we could have had Bowser Jr. as a big poor thing. Yeah, I wonder how that got left out. Hmm, weird. I guess we didn't actually... You touched on it a tiny bit, but um, the reason why it was specific people for the donation incentive is because the barrel train um, is the best uh, train in the, in the game, basically, just for the stats. Uh, and that's only available to the big character classes, which is um, Big Mario Luigi, um, Diddy Kong, Baby Bowser, Toad Toadette, and Quitrupa and Paratrupa. I think that's it. Yeah. The uh, they each have a special. Uh, baby Mario and Baby Luigi have a Chain Chomp, which I hate. That's why I only <laughs> ever use one of them. I usually use Toad and Toadette as the other one, because they give you a golden mushroom. Um, but there's some items you just can't get in first place. The banana is one of the items you can get in first place. It's one of, like, one of, like, three items you can get in first place. Yeah, it's great. Um, the Chain Chomp, which is actually something that's available, um, recently, within the past, I think, year or something like that, they've started, uh, the community has started finding, uh, skips with the Chain Chomp in some of the courses. 
and actually really neat, but setting them up is not extremely precise, but like very precise. Big banana. Uh, <laughs> Big. Letting me know. I'm having fun with this. Uh, so sometimes they use the chain chomp. You'll see a lot of higher level players uh, actually use uh, Paratroopa and Koopa Troopa. Uh, because, not because they want the items that they have, which is the triple red shell and triple green shell, um, but because they don't want the opponents to have those items so that they don't get hit by those shells. Um, yeah. Normally, you'll see like, I, I'd use like Toad, for example, for the cool mushroom. I think CJ does the same thing. Um, you might see some runners uh, with Big Mario and Big Luigi for the change on stuff that I mentioned. So it really is uh, depending on whatever the runner wants. I think you use uh, Toad and Baby Mario. Which one do you use? Uh, yeah, it was something like that, eh? And I, mean, I use... Toadhead. And I use... And I... Oh yeah, you use Toadhead and Luigi, and I usually use Toad and Baby Mario. Just to be different oh, yeah. than you. <laughs> different but the same. Ooh! Not getting me today! No, 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 no! <laughs> Alright, I think we're at the... Almost at the halfway point now. Well, uh, we have eight, so... No, not really. Yeah, we're at the halfway point. Yeah, yeah eight, eight is halfway. Eight is halfway. Peach Beach. Really fun level, but if you get out of the groove, you are just messing with the tide at that point, man. <laughs> um, the tide is... Not a, uh, it is a literal in this case because the tide does go up and down. And it's also cycle based. Um, and then I'm not sure if the actual, uh, where are the cataquacks? I'm not sure if they're cycle based or if they're random. But they can, um, give you a pretty bad time. They will launch you in the air and lose a bunch of them. Yeah. Plus there's like sand and whatever, so. Yeah, that too. Uh, different elements for the cart to combat. Um, I don't think we mentioned it, so we spoke about mini turbos, but there's actually a lot of tech surrounding mini turbos that's not just, uh, oh, we're going to get the mini turbo and then let go and go fast. Um, the direction you hold after you let go of the mini turbo, um, and I think, I might be wrong on this one, but I think it's specific for the barrel train because it has so low, um, traction. Uh, but depending on which angle you're holding the stick, you might go either tighter or wider uh, once you release that. Um, and there's some courses that that really comes into play, just to get, like, really good lines. So that is another layer of tech added onto this game. It's a hard game, but I think it's, tech-wise, my favorite Mario Kart. Man, I had it, and then I still didn't get it off. That was, like, the perfect uh, angle to do it, too. Yeah, I don't think you had the blue, uh, the blue flames. No, I didn't. You're just shy of that. We'll get there. I'll try- I'm trying to do one! <laughs> that was a good Peach Beach, 28, 28, 32. Yeah. Other than the blue shell, really, that was pretty much spot on. Yeah. Alright. Ice is nice, but not in Mario Kart. The last leg of this track is pretty frustrating. Like, this isn't too bad. You're slippering, but if you know what you're doing and you just snake the mini turbos, you can get through that first section pretty easily. And then, this part at the end I kind of hate, because it has the freezies. Yep. I'm gonna dodge this red shell, there we go. And a blue shell! Almost did it! Alright, so, heh, I don't like it because you slide- Yeah, that guy took the uh, freezy out, but that one's like right in the way at the end. I did so many by accident today in practice, so. Not a oh, buff. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah. I think that last blue shell dodge, it would have worked if you weren't on ice. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason to not like the, uh... But it looks good. I think it was just like, you kept on going in that direction, because, you know. Yep, freezy. Meant to be kind of no. When it rains, it pours, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. This is yeah. Rough. <laughs> yeah, so it's tech heavy, but it's RNG heavy too. That's what yeah. I'm talking. If you look at that last part quote, that's exactly what epitomizes the ice element. Well, I'm going completely sideways. My co yeah, yeah, and I just had enough side momentum slick from the ice that I still went forward. That was. 
I was trying and hoping that that would work, but I did not go into that intentionally. <laughs> like, I, I'm not gonna lie and tell you that that was the plan, but, uh, that was, uh, the backup to my plan. Well, as long as the backup worked. Yeah, we do have a lot of, uh, pretty difficult stages coming up. Wario Coliseum, Dino Dino Jungle, Rainbow Road, Wario Stadium, or Waluigi, Waluigi Stadium. Those are all pretty difficult. The only one that's like kind of easy that's left in the run is uh, Daisy Cruiser. This Ooh, one's also one. annoying. Remember when I said earlier that it's that one is not bad because the cars are driving in the same direction as you? This is the antithesis. The cars are on like a loop and they're cycle based and they drive at you almost at all times. Yeah, and normally cycle based tracks aren't too bad. You can, you know, wrap to the cycles. Um, but this is double dash where things never go as planned. So if you get hit by a blue shell or a lightning, then your cycle's thrown off and you don't necessarily know where everything is. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, the first lap's pretty comfy. First lap looks good there. Uh, and we will see about the rest. And there's, there's the lightning I was talking about. Yeah, cool. You say driving in this level is kind of like driving around on a trail. Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, <laughs> driving with cars coming at you? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Uh, yeah, just typical Quebec drivers. Don't worry about it. Quebec tings. <gasps> there it is. We haven't had any else. This is what we've right. been waiting for. <laughs> this is what we donated for. Ooh. Ah, unfortunate. Yeah, that, that area at the end, there's there's the bumps, so you can't really see what's coming at you. CJ did a good job at dodging the first car, but then got in the other lane and uh, got wrecked by the bus, which uh, that is definitely not easy to react to. Did I... you take your, your own? Yes. Oh. Alright. Um, oops. I guess one thing to note, um, you can use your items to block other items. So if there's a red shell coming, you can like throw a banana or something, for example. Uh, you can't throw fake item boxes. Shells go through fake item boxes, so those are uh, usually pretty much don't really want those. Uh. See, John, on the other hand, just throwing all his bananas and stuff just to make, keep things interesting. Keep him on his toes. Yeah. You no, know, I respect. Sometimes what happens is that you get the notification, but the shell is pretty far away for whatever reason, and then you throw your banana, and then the shell is just like, nah, man, I'm going through it. Alright, Waluigi Stadium is a dirt track, which I like casually, but I don't like it in a speedrun, because it has the whole, the ground is not level problem. We will see evidence of this in a minute. Although, at least in the case of this one, the ground shouldn't be level, because it's a dirt track. But, you know. The other courses don't have excuse. The one thing, if you- see, I started out playing Mario Kart 64, that was my first speedrun for Mario Kart. That one is hell on your thumb. So this one's a little nicer, but the thing that I'm gonna say is that you are spoiled in Mario Kart because in 64, there is no... The CPUs can't throw shells. They, um... They can get shells, but they can't throw them. So even though you can't turn... We just got two big bananas in a row. I hit myself with my own big banana. All right. There's one big banana to the place. And so, the only time you ever get hit with shells in your own Mario Kart 64 runs are when you hit yourself with your own shells. Yeah. And because of the coding of that game, it happens slightly more often than you'd expect. Uh, <laughs> it's it's sort of funny, but that's that's another issue for another day. Cool's gonna donate one dollar for every beak banana. What? What? <laughs> I never agreed to this. CJ, you haven't donated your fifty yet. Hold yeah, on. I did. You did. You did? Instantly. You did I did it on stream. Oh, you did. yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I missed that. No, this, 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 I'm just trying to get CJ to donate fifty dollars again. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! I live here. 
<laughs> oh, oh my god. So there's actually a, a skip in this course, uh, right at that bridge section, or not the bridge section, it should be a bridge section. Um, if you boost off of the side in like a really weird angle, nice. That wasn't our big banana, but that was a big banana. Uh, you can actually have popped up and hit the, the depth plane, or the void out plane, whatever you want to call it, and actually warp to the top there, and it saves like two seconds. And I actually thought he was going to hit it with uh, that blue shell, it wasn't the perfect spot, but uh, might have either been too low or something. That, that would have been neat. That would have been pretty neat. Uh, but uh, do, do we count that big banana? Like, it wasn't I don't ours, think so. But... Yeah. It was a big banana, it wasn't my big banana. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. I know what you're thinking, Alex. <clears throat> uh, you know what? This, this actually works out well. I always remember Daisy Cruz um, as the course where, where CJ lost himself because of a typo. And I'm happy it's me, you, and Big Law on this call right now. Just so we can reminisce about this moment. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you tell the damn story. Oh, do you want me to? Yeah. All right. So, so. I did it! Woo! Oh, let's go. That is. That's a, a blue shell dodge. Let's go. Um, All right. So anyway, <laughs> go ahead. We're here watching CJ on his Twitch stream at twitchtv underscore. You should go follow. Um, and he's playing some Mario Kart, and Big Law comes in and he's like, "Yo, CJ," and CJ's like, "Yo, Big Law." Then Big Law's like, "Can I DM you something?" And then a DM happens. And then CJ goes, no, Big Law, no. And we don't know why. Uh, and anyways, it turns out that uh, a couple of minutes later, we got it out of him that uh, there's been a typo somewhere that I don't know if I should disclose or not. I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, go to typo somewhere. Oh, it's on the Patreon page. If you go on the Patreon page, there's a typo that says um, top supporter instead of top supporter. And apparently it's been like that for like a year and no one told him until Big Law came in. Um, and that was a good time. And while he wasn't telling us, uh, we were trying to guess. And one of my guesses was that he had left an Ikka 8 banner in, in his stream description for over a year. Uh, Ikka 8 was March of 2020. Uh, and I think this was in like February of this year or something like that. So it'd been a long little while. And he was confused that no one told him. And I was confused that he still had it up there, but I thought that he knew. That was, <laughs> that was a gold split. <laughs> All right. He's trying to get out of here as fast as possible to uh to get the story to end. No, keep going. Um, I mean that was that was the gist of it. Uh, to this day, there was uh, another the typo. Matter. What was the other typo? Uh, I, I'll continue it. Uh, Thank you. So the the secondary typo was uh, for the, the speedrun insider uh, notification codes in the uh, Speed Dogs Discord. Uh, if you're so interested, you could get the, uh, the speedrun insider subscriber ping. <sighs> okay, I didn't know about that one. So if you want more, be a, a subscriber. You know, can I tell you something really messed up? This is an exclusive to the story. This is the punchline. The Patreon thing is still messed up. Yeah. And I, know. I want everyone to know that for whatever reason, we can't change it because you can't change it once you have subscribers at that level. So well, you can't edit it. So it still says top supporter. Want to be a Speed Talks top supporter? They do like YouTube videos or something. I might have heard of them. Um, for seven dollars a video, you can do that and become a top supporter. And CJ will cry a little bit on the inside. Speaking of crying a little bit on the inside, uh, this is Wario Stadium. Um, this is, I think, yeah, it's definitely the only track uh, that has two laps just because it's so long. Um, and it's also one of the more technical tracks, uh, just because there's a lot of tight turn- Ooh, I think actually I had a mushroom there, or maybe it was just the last frame before you got hit by lightning. Anyways, there's a lot of, um, uh, tight, like, technical things you can do, especially with main turbos. Um, and one thing I don't think we touched on is you can actually- that was another big banana. You can actually, um, start mini turbos in the air. Uh, it's a bit awkward though, so I don't know if, uh, CJ, CJ particularly goes for that strat. Um, I'll try doing it. But it is possible. Yeah, it is possible, and 
Ooh, that is a rough turn though. Yeah, that's that's a rough turn in particular. Yeah, I just did it right there. Yeah. So many turbos in here. That's one pretty neat thing. Yeah, so if you saw that he had started it in the air and when he landed, he was already born instead of yellow. But yeah, just a lot of very sharp turns, especially down the uh, the leaves. That just make this stage uh pretty tough all around. This actually uh, is- Oh my god, that's such a- Oh my god! What? Did you see it? Uh, the star disappearing? Yeah. Drop. Yeah, uh, stars do boost your top speed. Sort of. Um, they boost you to the speed that your max mini turbo goes, so if you're mini turboing all the time, they don't actually make you go faster, but they do if you're going straight. All right, we have two tracks left. We have Tootsie Dino Kangles, which Ooh, is my, my favorite. least favorite track, and I have a minute of time save here, apparently. Uh, please do, AP. Is there a right. Speed Duck website? Uh, SpeedDuck.tv? That's just, uh, it's not currently live, but it is a site, I guess. Yeah, so this track is tar hard. Um, the bridges, I don't know what sort of like element it is made of, but it is not the same as like driving on pavement or anything like that. It's more slippery, it's rough, there's also no walls, and it's very thin, which means that falling off is really easy. Um, and if, speaking of falling off, and if uh, you want to be particularly daring, there's an even thinner path that is minutely faster. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's incredibly risky, stupid dangerous, and it saves, like, no time. Yeah, it saves, like, I think a third of a second. Which is, uh... About to run through the dinosaur. Tootsie oh, Kangles! Oh man, my star ran out the last second! <laughs> What are the odds? Uh, that was that was gold. That's what you get for messing with the Tootsie Kangles. Anyways, you see the big blue dinosaur, um, but in the on the bridge section, if you look to the left, you won't see it very long. Uh, but there's a red dinosaur that's chilling in the water, and he is uh, pretty adorable as well. That is your fun fact for uh, Dino Dino Jungle. Also, this course is rough. <laughs> Alright, can we hit 25 geek bananas before the end of the run? Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna save that one second! We didn't do it. <laughs> that, was, that was unfortunate. Um, oh, I guess he used the mushroom before. Okay, that was pretty close. Uh, but there's a, a small skip uh, that does involve a mushroom in the cave. Uh, if you do fall off, you lose your mushroom though, so amusing literally actually ended up working out. Here we go, star. Ringo. Okay, oh, this is more of a George Harrison kind of guy. Why does my star run out the last second every time? I love this game. I don't think we're gonna get 25 bananas. We just need two, and Rainbow Road is one of the longer courses in the game. Alright, I will just go through items until I get them. Alright, here we go. Last Thank track. You. Thank you. Rainbow Road. Did you put uh, Diddy Kong in the back to uh, optimize your. I did. Your acquirement of bananas. My procurement, as it were. Procurement. Oh, I'm hosting after this, aren't I? Uh, yeah, and I'm restreaming, so we should probably think of getting things set up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pull me out so I can <laughs> balance my audio with, uh... Uh, someone should probably message, uh, the next runner. Got it. <laughs> Why do you sound real excited for that? <laughs> what happened?! Amazing. <laughs> I, uh, I, I tried to <laughs> warn you all. I tried to warn you oh all. <laughs> Big Lost dead. That's my turn, but 
It's my turn to have a big blue shell. I don't know why, but on this particular map, it's possible to fall off the bridge and get back on. Yeah. If you, uh, you can, like, straight up just drive over some, like, you fall, but, like, for whatever reason, like, um, you'll, like, try and get back up, and it will let you back on. I have a clip of it on my, uh, Twitch channel, if anyone hasn't seen it before. I'm gonna go look it up. Yeah, if you want to go look it up, you can go straight to twitch.tv slash CJ, it's all good. Actually, pretty out here. Thank you. I don't think we're hitting our 25 big bananas. Says uh, you. Can I just, can I just say Michelle's count as big bananas? Big banana one. All right, one more. I'm in fifth, dude. I mean, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I'm gonna get them all. I have a chance to get it. Get them behind your D placement. But, you know, working on it. I got fucking yeah. yeeted off. And CJ's really trying to stand forth because you can see him grab a red shell and then just throw it behind him instead of slowing down the person in front of him. Listen. <laughs> I don't like the cut of your jib. Got it. Twenty-five. Like big banana. All right. Against all odds. You know, CJ was really out here putting uh, Diddy Kong in the front so that he could minimize his chances. But uh, you know what? We got a, an extra one. There you go, 26. The Big Banana Crew, also known as the BBC, comes out Tw first. He got an extra one! What is happening? Give me any other item. I don't want any more bananas. Hey, <laughs> hey, what is this? This is my hell! This is my hellscape! What is going on with the bananas? Also, no, we're not calling it the Big Banana Crew. Come up with a new name. Uh... The... I got nothing. The Big Banana Crew. How about Potassium Bromites or something? <laughs> I don't know, I think the people of the Big Banana Crew would be pretty outraged at that. Well, they they can uh, mourn the uh, the other uh, rival gang, the big beautiful waffles. Time. Forty one twenty two. Go. Not bad. I got a f I got forty one thirteens in every single practice attempt that I did. So. Only ten seconds. Yeah, and I only got twenty seven bananas. That's what you guys donated for. Thank you so much, everybody for uh, that. We came in underestimate on every run, which is good. Except for the snap thing. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Alright. And uh, I'm going to be hosting, so unfortunately we have to go. We, we don't have a time to say a long goodbye, but I'll be right back uh, once we get uh, Pink set up. Long goodbye. Yep.